Thank you everyone for joining me today as we talk about turning supporters into superstars, equipping your peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers for fundraising success. And my name is Ashley Kapolitis. I am one of the development specialists here at Mighty Cause. And we will, there we go, get those slides going. Sorry about that. Uh, so like I said, I'm Ashley Myerskoff. I'm excited. I'm not Myerskoff, not anymore. I'm Ashley Kefalitis. We're getting off to a great start. Uh, I am a community development specialist here at Mighty Cause. I am excited to have you with us today. And what we're going to take a look at and spend some time on is, of course, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. But we're going to look at what is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, types of peer-to-peer -peer campaigns, campaign must-haves, what makes a successful campaign, and what you can do for your fundraisers. And like I mentioned before, for anyone who was on a few minutes early, we will have a question and answer time at the end of the webinar. So I won't answer questions throughout the presentation, but if you wanna post any questions in either the chat or the question and answer box, we'll be sure to get to those at the end. And also just as we get started a little bit about Mighty Cause, we have been dedicated to serving nonprofits since 2006, and we offer a year-round platform for all of your fundraising needs. We're specifically designed for the small to medium nonprofit, but we certainly have our share of the large nonprofits as well. So let's get on to what is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So before we know how to equip our supporters, let's have a little refresher on what peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is. And peer-to-peer -peer fundraising leverages your existing supporters to bring in new donors and donations. And although your organization may host a peer-to-peer -peer campaign, for example, a walkathon, you as the organization are not doing the bulk of the fundraising. Your supporters are by creating their fundraiser pages and asking their social networks to support their fundraisers. So a couple of common examples would be birthday fundraisers, which are usually supporter-initiated. There's also campaign add-ons. So let's say you're hosting an in-person event and you use the week leading up to that event for individual fundraising or bigger events such as Giving Tuesday, uh, things of that nature. This is all that peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So now let's take a look at specific types of peer-to-peer -peer campaigns. Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising takes on different forms and your supporters can host an individual fundraiser, participate in a team, or join an event with multiple teams made up of individual fundraisers. Now an individual fundraiser, that's perhaps the most common when we think of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So for example, that birthday fundraiser, instead of receiving gifts for a birthday, someone creates a fundraiser on behalf of a nonprofit but it really could be any fundraiser, any time for anything that's one person creating a page asking for donations. And on Mighty Cause, an individual fundraiser page allows your supporters to set a donation goal, add a cover photo and customized checkout flows. And also the perhaps the two most important things other than the donate button is we have a dedicated story section and social sharing which we'll dive into later, but those are key pieces of any fundraising opportunity. And what's better than fundraising independently? Fundraising as a team and team fundraising campaigns bring together individual fundraisers to work toward a common goal, benefiting your organization. And through Mighty Cause, we provide each team member an individual fundraising page. And these pages are linked to the team page showing the team's goal and progress bar, as well as leaderboards of all the fundraisers. And just like the fundraiser page, the team page is gonna have a customizable story section, also social sharing options. And this way, your the supporters and the different fundraisers can show off this friendly competition. They can show off the team page on social media and maybe even invite others to join. So we also have, event fundraising. Now an event fundraiser or an event fundraising campaign, this brings together multiple teams and multiple individual fundraisers for a great time of community peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Now in theory, an event peer-to-peer -peer campaign will have multiple teams 
made up of multiple individual fundraising team members, and everyone is working toward that event goal. But theories are not set in stone. So an event can have any mixture of teams and fundraisers, and an event can be completely virtual, or it could be a hybrid of virtual with in-person activities. And a great example of this is a 5K, where the race is actually in person, but the virtual fundraising is done leading up to the event. Now, the event page on Mighty Cause includes a leaderboard for that friendly competition, an about section to share all of your event info, a goal bar to show your progress in real time, and the option to display offline donations because checks and cash, super important. And now if we're going to make superstars out of your supporters, there are three must-haves for your campaign, really for any campaign. And number one is that your peer-to-peer -peer campaigns must be easy for fundraisers to create. So you're gonna use your website, social media, newsletters, and emails to remind your supporters that fundraising for your nonprofit is available. Because if your supporters don't even know that fundraising on your behalf is a thing, then they're definitely not gonna do it. They might want to, but they just don't know that they can. And keep in mind that your supporters have already committed to investing in you in some way, shape, or form. So by presenting peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, you're just giving them another opportunity to partner with you. And make sure that you stress that fundraising is simple and fun. And then you're gonna provide the necessary steps and make sure that they are accessible and that they're visible throughout your online presence. Now we'll dive into this a little more later on. The key thing is that we make it easy. Now, number two, the must have for planning any peer-to-peer, -peer, any fundraising is following up with your donors. And it's crucial that you impress upon, press this upon your fundraisers. So they need to also be thanking their donors. And Mighty Cause makes this simple through the downloadable donations report. Every campaign page has a downloadable donations report. And when your fundraisers personally thank their donors, your donors, those donors are gonna be more likely to give again to that fundraiser in the future. So this of course is one of the first steps, an easy step to fundraising stardom is keeping those donors happy. And just as important is timely follow-up from you, the organization. Now, Mighty Cause provides the first two thank yous immediately following the donation for you. And the first thank you is through the thank you page. And you can also think of this as the donation confirmation page. And here you can have a customized message from you, the organization. You can add text, pictures, a thank you video, anything that you wanna to include to say thank you to your donors. And also we have the emailed receipt and this is your second thank you because the receipt is immediately sent after the donation but you as the organization can also add a personalized message. So typically that's gonna be your second thank you. And also be sure to follow up with specific campaign information. So peer-to-peer -peer campaigns often bring in new donors, which is one of the main goals, right? So we wanna make sure that those donors know that we know they are connected to a particular campaign and then we want to set out with those welcome journeys. Now, if you want to make donor engagement even more streamlined, you can take advantage of Mighty Cause integrations. We integrate with hundreds of other donor management applications. So for example, our direct integration with MailChimp will trigger an email journey as soon as a gift is submitted. So if it's a brand new donor, you can launch them on that welcome journey without really doing anything. And that's going to go a long way to retaining those donors and receiving donors in the future. So however you choose to do it, just make sure you prioritize that donor engagement. Now our must have number three is planning to engage, encourage, and thank your fundraisers. So it's easy to get caught up thinking about our donors, but peer-to-peer -peer fundraising doesn't happen without the fundraisers. So be sure to start thanking and encouraging your fundraisers as soon as they create their pages. They are gonna perform better with your support and knowing that they're valued. 
So appreciation goes a long way in bringing supporters back to fundraise again. And this is also very important because part of being a superstar is longevity. And we want those repeat fundraisers. And fundraisers are going to get better over time. So the more campaigns the host, they host, the better they're going to get. This not only means more success on their end, but it also means less handholding on yours. And you still get to reap the benefits of it. Even those fundraisers that are nowhere near reaching their goal, what do we do with them? We make a big deal about them too. The fact is they tried to raise money on your behalf. Maybe they didn't have as much time to devote to the effort as they planned. Uh, maybe they just didn't try hard enough. We don't know, but they tried. And even fundraisers, I've seen them, they crash and burn the first year and you think, what happened? They're, this isn't good. It's okay, they work out the kinks the next year. I've seen it in person. And then as the years go on, they're raising thousands of dollars on your behalf. So never give up on a fundraiser. Let them work out what they need to. Your job is there to help support and encourage. But how do you know who your fundraisers are? So when someone creates a campaign on Mighty Cause for your nonprofit, the admins for your organization receive a notification email. And your Mighty Cause profile, event, and team pages, they also provide downloadable campaign reports. And this reporting has all of the important information you need for tracking past and current campaigns. And you can even email your fundraisers right from your campaign's report. So it's easy to be in contact with them. And as part of your organization's overall fundraising strategy, you also want to be prepared to honor or thank your fundraisers. So if the peer-to-peer -peer campaign is initiated or hosted by you, the organization, let's say you're hosting a readathon event to promote literacy, highlight your fundraisers within your event promotions and send out a special thank you edition newsletter afterward. And for fundraisers who've supported your event year after year, make sure to give them some extra props because their support isn't just a one and done thing. And you can also, further celebrate, go ahead and send them customized thank you bookmarks or coffee mugs. Don't just make a big deal online or in front of other supporters. Go ahead and send them a token of your appreciation. And also have a plan to honor the individual fundraisers that support your nonprofit outside of an organization-sponsored campaign. And this could be a thoughtful shout out on social media or dedicating a section of your newsletter or your website or have a stash of thank you gifts on hand, such as t-shirts, hats, travel mugs, and send those off to your fundraisers no matter when they created a fundraiser. Because the sky's the limit when it comes to engaging your fundraisers. It's just the key is to be thoughtfully prepared. Now, equipping fundraisers to be superstars starts with knowing what makes a successful campaign. So you're gonna share with your fundraisers the three S's to success your story, social sharing, and specific asks. Now, a compelling story, you're going to ask yourself, what motivates you to give to nonprofits? Is it statistics? Is it just a mission statement? Or is it something more personal? A compelling story conveying the impact of your organization's mission and work connects to people's emotions. And this connection then invites the donors to join your efforts to make part of that impact their own. And so often the needs in our communities are abstract thoughts to the masses. So it's someone else's child, it's someone else's illness or someone else's need. And stories make those faces and those outcomes personal. It's no longer over there. It's this person and this need. And your fundraisers may have their own stories about your nonprofit to share. And this is why every Mighty Cause campaign page has a story section. So encourage your fundraisers to get personal. And a great way fundraisers can enhance their storytelling is by including pictures and videos. Did you know that participants who add photos and personal stories to their fundraising pages raise three times as much as those who don't? Talk about fundraising stardom. Now, social sharing is gonna be the second aspect to success. Virtual fundraisers aren't hindered by time zones or distances. They are literally available to the world. 
but not if no one knows about them. So sharing campaigns on social media is the ultimate game changer in today's fundraising landscape. And sharing a page on social media means your fundraisers don't have to individually reach out to every person they know. And it also means your organization and your mission is getting out in the world. And this twofold success is why social sharing makes a successful campaign and a superstar fundraiser. And Mighty Cause makes this so simple. Every campaign page has a share button and fundraisers and donors alike can use the button to share a campaign page on Facebook or Twitter. And clicking on a post takes a donor directly to that campaign page. So social sharing makes it super easy to promote a page and super easy to donate. Now the last S of success is the specific ask. Fundraisers who specifically ask people to donate and specifically ask for a certain amount of money, they will raise more. Now these asks don't need to be large sums, yet they do need to be direct. So putting a campaign on social media is crucial, but only posting a fundraiser without actually promoting it limits the impact. So for example, if my cousin's doing a 20 mile bike ride in honor of his favorite organization, and I happen to see his campaign on Facebook, I might donate or I might intend to donate, but then completely forget. However, if my cousin asks me to donate to his fundraiser, I'm more likely to check out his fundraiser page and consider a gift amount based on what I see. Now, if my cousin asks me to donate $20 toward his 20 mile bike ride for a fundraiser, and he shares a little bit about why he's riding, I'm more than likely going to give at least that $20, if not more. Now, many of your fundraisers may need coaching in this area, and that's okay. A lot of people find asking for money to be awkward, but this is usually because they don't know how to do it. So if you're forging fundraising superstars, you're going to need to help them out here. Now we'll get more into this in the next section, but the important thing to note is that fundraising success takes intentionality. And with the right help and your supporters being willing to present compelling stories, sharing their campaigns on social media and making those specific asks, everybody can see success. So what can you do for your fundraisers? Now that we know the different types of peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, how do you equip your fundraisers for success? You can provide the following three needs to your fundraisers through a fundraiser toolkit, fundraising kickoff email, or maybe devote a section on your website to fundraising uh, success. And whatever works best for your organization, that's what you wanna do. So what are these three needs? It's instructions, templates, and scripts. So all peer-to-peer -peer fundraising starts with instructions. As was mentioned earlier, your supporters can't do what they don't know about. And it's your responsibility to provide that clear and easy instruction for creating those peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And what might this look like for a supporter-initiated fundraiser? Dedicate a place on your website with instructions for creating a supporter-led fundraiser, like that birthday fundraiser we talked about. And include this link everywhere that you mentioned peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, your newsletters, social media, et cetera. And you can do something as simple as this, include a link to your profile page and then say, all you need to do is visit our organization page, select the fundraise button and then click get started. It's that simple. So you're gonna provide them with three steps. They're gonna click your link, they're gonna click the fundraise button and they're gonna click get started. It is simple, but they need to know that that's what they're doing. So you might consider including visuals of each step just to help your supporters know that they're in the right place and they're doing the right thing. And if your organization is hosting an event campaign with teams and fundraisers, you want your event page URL and the ease of fundraising to be all over your promotional pieces. But it's on the actual event page that you're gonna share your instructions for building teams and or fundraisers. Mighty Cause event pages allow you to create multiple information tabs. So this means you could display the instructions right on your main story section, or you could use one of the tabs. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever works best for your campaign and for your fundraisers. 
The key to, to a nonprofit hosted peer-to-peer -peer campaign is making sure that your fundraisers feel guided and supported. Now those templates, no matter what type of work you do, your templates are gonna make things easier. And the same is true in peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So you'll wanna provide your fundraisers with at least a fundraiser template, social media post suggestions, and email content. Now a fundraiser template helps fill in the gaps for the fundraiser who doesn't know where to start. And it also allows your organization to include information you want everyone to know. And the beauty of the Mighty Cause fundraising fundraiser template is that you can create the template and your fundraisers can still customize their own pages. Next, we wanted, we mentioned earlier, excuse me, that social media is a game changer. So you want your fundraisers to make the most of it, right? Now you're gonna provide post suggestions. This is anything from what to say to graphics, logos, and links. And you'll find that your fundraisers wanna post. They just don't always know what to say, what they're allowed to say, or how to create those eye-catching graphics. Now let's, lastly, let's not forget the power of emails. Now, did you know that on average, one in five fundraising emails will result in a donation? Now that might not seem like great odds, but if sending emails is easy, then why not? So just like you're going to provide social media content, you're gonna provide email content. Create several different email drafts. Don't be daunted. Most of the content will be basically the same, just worded slightly differently and also draft up a couple of thank you emails as well. And remind your fundraisers to keep track of who has donated and who hasn't. So, because if I've donated to my cousin's campaign, he doesn't want to send me another donation request. He wants to send me a thank you email. And something else to keep in mind when providing any of these three templates. They're only drafts. So be sure to include built-in opportunities for your fundraisers to tell their story and to be personal. And by providing those well-planned templates, no matter what kind of template, you're gonna spur your fundraisers on to success. Now a script, a script is different than the templates and that the script is for actually talking with donors. Whereas the templates are focused more on the online preparation and the online interaction. So that said, there's gonna be a fair amount of overlap and this is good because it's gonna reinforce to your fundraisers the mindsets that will make them superstars. And it's also good because it means you're creating less content from scratch. So going back to your fundraisers who don't know how to present a specific ask, this is how you guide and encourage them. Provide a few basic scripts to be used on a phone call and then provide others for that in-person conversation and a big piece for your news, uh, excuse me, for your new fundraisers is going to be that opening line. How do they get started? Give them a few suggestions. And also, as you give those examples, you're going to give a few example of how to view examples of how to say things better. So I might say to my sister, hey, please donate to my fundraiser. Or I could ask my sister, will you consider supporting my fundraiser? Now, both work, both get the point across, but the second option is a little more gentle. And remind your fundraisers that scripts are not set in stone. As your fundraisers move towards stardom, they'll feel more confident to add their own language. So let's wrap this up. We want to build up our superstars. We want to build up any of our fundraisers. So inspiring peer-to-peer -peer fundraising superstars is gonna be well worth the effort. It's just gonna take some effort. We looked at the different types of fundraising, which is individual, team, and event campaigns. Also, each type of fundraising campaign allows your supporters to engage their friends and family on your behalf. And the campaigns may be initiated by a supporter or by your organization. They might be totally virtual or they might be a hybrid with some in-person interaction as well. Either way, the three S's to fundraising success include a compelling story, social sharing, and specific asks. And you're gonna come alongside your fundraisers to guide them through those three S's by providing easy to access and understandable directions for creating those campaign pages, templates, 
including a fundraiser template, social media post suggestions, and email content. And finally, those scripts suggesting what to say, how to ask for donations, and things to avoid or say differently. The essential takeaway is that anything you can provide your fundraisers to increase donor interaction will not only be greatly appreciated, but will equip them for that fundraising superstardom. Now, as you look toward summer and you plan for your fall fundraising campaigns, please take a moment to consider how Mighty Cause can help. It's what we're here for, it's who we're made for. So not only do we provide donation processing and all the peer-to-peer -peer campaign pages you need, but we also offer supporter management features that are gonna help you steward your donors and your fundraisers. And we also proudly offer two subscription plans to fit your fundraising needs. So if you're interested in a free demo, no commitment, I'll be posting a demo request link in our Zoom chat. So you can click on that in just a moment. Or if you wanna post your email address in the chat box, I'll be sure to have one of our experts reach out to you for a demo as well. And you can also request a demo through the survey immediately following this webinar. So no reason to hesitate. Please feel free to reach out however you're comfortable. And I just really wanna say thank you for joining us today. I'm gonna to go ahead and post that link in the chat. But if you have any questions, please feel free to post. We'll be taking a look uh, at both the question and answer box and the chat box as well. So we'll give just a few moments for people to post and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, Marissa, I will be happy to get your contact information over to one of our experts. Thank you. And we'll give just a few more moments for some questions. If you have any questions on the things that we spoke about today. Also, if any questions come up in the future, you can reach out anytime to our support team. And that's super simple at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T at mightycause.com. So you can send us an email. We also have a resource center. It's free. We have like this, the webinars, we have blogs, we have case studies, ebooks. So any type of fundraising that you're looking for, we've got it for you. Oh, Krista, you are most, most welcome. And Milani, you are welcome as well. I'm so glad you guys were able to join us and I'm glad that it was, that it was helpful. That's, that's the key thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and post so I have a link to the demo that's gonna be in the chat section, but let me go ahead. I see a couple of questions and answers. Okay, Diana, I'm gonna go ahead. I posted that in the chat, but I'm gonna send you that as a response as well. So you should be able to find both places. And any questions that you have, certainly you can bring up with one of our experts during your demo and feel free to get into the, the specifics of your organization and the, the different events, campaigns, the different things that you're hosting. Give me just one moment. So Donna has a question for us. I'm glad that this was helpful. So Donna, what I'm gonna suggest, so Donna's taking part in one of those giving events that we mentioned at the very beginning. So as part of that, Donna, I'm going to direct you to our customer support. Go ahead, because it, it gets in depth and it's a little more uh, specific for the Rocket Challenge. So I'm going to suggest go ahead and email support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T at mightycause.com and, and post there. Let them know that you were here for the webinar and let them know questions that way. And then you guys can get into any back and forth that you need there. And I'm just gonna do a quick, I'm posting our, that's the email address that you can reach out to. And we'll give just another moment or so for any other questions or if anyone is interested in the link. If you're not comfortable putting your email in the chat, no worries. You can request a demo in, during the survey. 
And just a quick note on that, we do offer a survey at the end of every webinar. So if there's anything that you're interested in hearing more about, anything that you would like a webinar on that we haven't touched base about, please go ahead and post that in the survey. That lets us know what is on your mind and what we can be doing to better serve our nonprofits. Warren, I've got your email. I'll be sure to have one of our experts reach out. All right, well, let's go ahead. It's 2.30. Let's go ahead and close up for the day. Let's respect everybody's time. Thank you again for joining. And we look forward to seeing you the next time. My pleasure. Take care.